This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today I want to take a minute to look at the defense. The Ravens are leading the league in sacks right now. And we've all, myself included, have complained about the defense getting sacks. Uh, we we got pressures and, we you know, myself and other Ravens people have talked about, you know, pressure's not enough. We need to get sacks. And the D-line is not getting sacks. The outside linebacker is not getting sacks and whatnot. We were saying that Queen and Hamilton should not be leading the team in sacks. But lo and behold, we are the league leader in sacks. And they've come from any and everybody. Sunday, we got to Jared Goff five more times. And we are now, again, the league leaders in sacks. Roll the intro. So we've gotten to we've gotten pressure on quarterbacks a bunch of different ways. We had simulated pressures, we've played games, we've ran, you know, blitz, we brought guys off the edge, we've run different stunts up the middle. We've just Mike McDonald have gotten pressure a bunch of different ways. And then on some ways, we've just got pressure with four. So let's take a look at the five sacks from Sunday. And let's see the different ways that we got to Jared Goff. And just appreciate what we're doing defensively. And, you know, salute to those guys for doing what they do because they're playing lights out right now. They're a perfect complement to what we're doing on offense. And I wanted to today, take today to salute those guys and give them a little love on the channel. Let's start with this first one. And what you're going to get is what's going to look like. This is the show. This is what it looks like to Jared Goff, what's going to happen. Looks like Queen is coming on this seek out. I think this is Clowney that's probably going to slice across the tackles place and gun to the B gap. You got whoever this tackle is. I think this is Broderick Washington potentially sliding into this A. Uh, Travis Jones crossing the center's face into this other A. Roquan is creeping into the B gap. And then you got Van Noa potentially taking the C gap on this uh, the right side of the field. One second. Excuse me. That's the show. But that's not what's going to happen. And McDonald has been doing a great job of showing one thing and doing something else. Here's the doing something else part of it. Your 2D tackle's going to come out of there. Roger Washington and Travis Jones. And I've been getting a kick of seeing Michael Pierce go touch a guy and then drop out. But now we get to see Travis Jones and Roger Washington do it. And you see that purple line coming from the right side of your screen? That's Arthur Molet coming. And the, the, the Lions' O-line are not accounting for them. You see them accounting for all the guys up front. They are not accounting for Molet because they're releasing the back. They're releasing the back the opposite way. So they are not accounting for him. He's free. This is one of those games we talk about McDonald is playing. And they've been successful so far. So Marlette is coming free. And then you can't throw anything hot over the middle because you got Travis Jones and Broderick Washington dropping out to take that. Look at this. So if you want to throw something hot over the middle, you got those two big guys there ready to KO anything that's real quick. Then you got Marlette coming from the edge, unblocked. You see the guard see it, but it's too late. Sack. Sack. McDonald is doing a phenomenal job. And I mean phenomenal job of just figuring out ways to get pressure. Let's go to the second sack. Again, the various ways of getting. You see Amon Ra coming in motion. Amon Ra St. Brown coming in motion. Marlowe was guarding him. Now right here, you see that, that shadow coming into play? That's Marlon's shadow. That's Marlon Shadow. He doesn't go with him. But what they do is they send a cat blitz. That's Marlon coming on a cat blitz. The back can't really pick him up. He tries. Marlon sticks his hand in there. And now, at this point, Jared Goff realizes he's in trouble. Van Noor realizes there's no edge help. So 
So right now he starts to disengage and realize I better set this edge because nobody's out there because Marlo missed. Marlo was the edge guy and Marlo missed. Now it's a foot race between Van Noy and Golf to the edge. And Golf's not fleet of foot, but Van Noy beats him. And because Van Noy cuts him off before he gets to the line of scrimmage, that's another sack for Kyle Van Noy. Another sack for Kyle Van Noy. Now it's not a traditional sack, but it is. In the books, it counts as a sack. Now, right here, this is all Adafi Owe. Forget anything else that's going on. Check out the right side of your screen versus All Pro Pene Sewell. Look at that. Look at that. Now, we're going to play it back. We're going to play it back. That's Odafi Owe getting a strip sack versus All Pro All Everything Pene Sewell. Let's go back and watch it. So, initially, initially, one, mano y mano. And we all give Owe flat. All give all, all of us have. If you have not, and saying you have not, you're a bold face lie. You're a bold face lie. Look at the long arms. Got great pressure on him. Got got Penny straight up and down. At no point should an old lineman be straight up and down, but he got him straight up and down. He got into him real quick. Got into him real quick. So he got him pressed out. Now, got the leverage. Look at the leverage he got on him. Great leverage by Owe. Now he's gonna hit him with the swim move. Got him pressed out. Watch the swim move come through. He pulls him to him. He's going to take that arm over. Here he comes. Look at the leverage. Got the shoulder by him. What? At this point right here, Pene Sewell is through. He is finito at that point right there. Got the arm over. And then look at look at where he is. And I just realized this. In relation to Jared Goff, he's equal. He's not past him. He's equal to Jared Goff. That's perfect position for Oway. Perfect position. And all he got to do is finish. All he got to do is finish. Jerry Goff pump fake for whatever reason. Oh, he on his you know what. Sack fumble. Jerry Goff having to get it back. But great. Welcome back, Oway. Welcome back, Oway. I was hoping he would have got another one. But that play right there, I don't really care what the rest of the guys did. Oway won versus an all pro. Pen A. Sewell. Let's go to the next one. Now, we just talked about how much of an all-pro Pene Sewell is and how he's this and how he's that. And remember, in a pregame, if you've seen it, Pene Sewell was the guy that fired him up and had this, 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 and say. Let's just watch what Kyle Van Noy does to him. Let's just watch what Kyle Van Noy does to him. He finna, Kyle Van Noy finna dog walking. This is, this is Sewell right here. Watch Kyle Van Noy dog walking. Yeah! Pressed him out. Straight to golf. Pressed him out. No real move. Just straight power. And just dog walked him. There's no, there's no spin move. There's no no arm over. There's no, there's nothing. It's just, I'm stronger than you. I'm, I got better leverage than you. Let me walk you back to your quarterback and let me get this set. Hmm. Straight power move. That's it. No finesse about it. That's what you dog. That's how you take an all pro and show him that you ain't worth it. You know what? Y'all all, y'all kitties, man. Y'all kitties. Y'all all bark, no bite. All bark, no bite. Like I said, Van Oort does no real move other than just straight power rush. I'm going to go through your soul to the quarterback. I'm going through your soul to the quarterback. Exactly what he did. At no point did... Pene Sewell stopped this rush at no point. Did he even slow it up? At no point. Sack number four, people. Two of them on their best offensive linemen. Two of them. This is sack number five. Now, this is a little tackle twist in the middle. Playing a little game with Matter BK, and I think this is Broderick Washington. No, it's Michael Pierce. And this is um, an A-gap stunt. And they call it, you know, I don't know if they call it Axe, but some people call it Axe because they're attacking the, the A-gap. But it's going to happen right here in the A-gap. And you're going to get Matt BK He's going to attack the center and try to, you know, knock the center off so Pierce can come free. 
and you're going to loop around it. Watch Matt BK. He's going to attack that shoulder right now and hopefully freeze Pierce up. But what happens is Matt BK comes with so much force, he ends up being a free one. Kind of like Queen did a, a couple weeks ago. Same, same point of reference. But Matt BK comes free. Now he's right in the face of Jerry Goff. And at this point, we all know Jerry Goff can't move, so he just goes down. Another sack by, another sack by Matt BK. And again, I don't think they called this a fumble, but when you watch the replay, this was definitely a fumble. That was definitely a fumble. Definitely a fumble. And they may have called it one, but it, he didn't get the first down anyway, but still. Great job, great execution of a, another little game by Mike McDonald and staff. Great execution. The Ravens have been doing a good job of executing these twists, whether they've been with a linebacker and a, and a defensive lineman, two defensive linemen, whether they've been with an end and a defensive lineman. No matter who has been in these stunts, they've been doing a good job of executing them. Whether And honestly, a lot of times they've been drawn up for this guy to come free, but the, the pick guy, because I, I like to look at them as pick and rolls, the pick guy has been, been the one getting free a lot of times. So great job, Mike. Great job, defensive line. Great job, defense in general, man. I just wanted to take the time out today to give you guys your props. Uh, you lead the league in sacks. You're doing a good job with the front end, helping out the back end. The linebackers are doing a great job of communicating, getting everybody in place. Shout out to the Ravens defense. The groceries are dealing. I hope you continue to deal Sunday. Um, you took what many thought was the best team in football, myself included and embarrass them, and we are now among the upper echelon of best team in football. I think we are the best 5-2 and two team. We are on the heels of the two six and one teams. Let's continue to put it together. Let's go and do what we need to do in Arizona and keep pushing, keep striving, keep ascending, and do our thing. Flock, what's up? Let's keep ascending. If this is your first time here, like the video. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so, and when you do so, Hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop for the rest of the 2023 season. And remember the motto, it's FTMF, film then more film, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. And this is Coach Evans on a Thursday morning. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.